What's up you guys? My name is Justin. Welcome to my channel, 502 Fragrance Reviews. Where the goal of my channel is giving you amazing recommendations for great fragrances, but at the same time bridging the gaps between those that are in the fragrance community and those that are average consumers. And so, it was a little bit of a break last week. Uh, I didn't do Spotlight Fragrance of the Week, so it's like a, a one week type of hiatus, like a bi week kind of thing. But no, I'm back now with this again, as you can tell by the title. Um, this time around, I have a fragrance that's starting to pick up a little bit of the hype in the fragrance community. This is known as Bless Baraka by Initio. Initio's Bless Baraka. For those of y'all that don't know about my series, Spotlight Fragrance of the Week, each week what I do is I do a fragrance review. I spotlight a fragrance that either is A, is not very well known in the community and I think that other people should know about it or B, it is very well known, or it's picking up hype, and I wanna give you guys my take on it. So, before hopping into this review of Finish Your Bless Baraka, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. I got a lot of great content planned for you guys. Hit the post notification bell, so let you know when I upload a new video. And share this video with your friends and family. And so, without further ado, let's hop into this week's Spotlight Friends of the Week, Initio's Blessed Baraka. So Initio Blessed Baraka is classified as an oriental fragrance and this came out in 2015 and the perfumer behind this is Alberto Marias. And real quick while, while we're at it, let's hop into the note breakdown of this. The note breakdown is very simplistic, at least what they're giving us. You've got white flowers, sandalwood, vanilla, musk, and amber. And do I think there's more notes in here? Yes, but I'll hop into that in a second. Um, I even have a tester bottle right here on the back. I know you can't see it, but it even says a tester. It says white flower, sandalwood, captive wood, which to me means, you know, it's sandalwood. Sandalwood's definitely in here. Vanilla and musk. So, what do I get when I first spray this fragrance? And I've already sprayed it. Um, for a little while, I definitely get something fruity from this and at least in the opening of it it comes across like berries i don't know what type of berry i don't think it's juniper berry um i don't know what it is but it's something that's reminiscent to me of berries in addition to once you get that initial spray you get immediately you get the amber this fragrance right here is really prominent in amber if you like amber fragrances you will like this one and i'm a fan of amber fragrances and this one is just another amber fragrance in my collection that is just really great and high quality. I will say that the white flowers that's in here, um, I don't really ever get it. I know it's there, it's just maybe my, I'm not super digging into my nose, so I don't really pick up on the flowers. But I will say this, in addition to that amber, the really prominent amber, you do have a prominent sandalwood. And the sandalwood to me is present from the opening to the very end of the fragrance. And it's more prominent on my skin and the dry down. I really pick up the, the sandalwood and dry down in addition to the vanilla. So the three main notes that's in this fragrance that you will pick up, or at least I think everyone will pick up, is amber, sandalwood, and vanilla. I will say, um, even though sandalwood's in here, there it's at, at a lot of different points when I smell this fragrance, I do pick up on some other type of wood. And I don't know what it is. Um, it's definitely not cedar wood. It's not ebony wood. It's not birch. Um, at some point, at some points, it does remind me of patchouli. But I think that's just my nose. I don't, I don't think that's actually in here, at least here and there. Like, I do get hints of patchouli, but I don't think it's in here. At some points in this fragrance, this fragrance does remind me of Carlisle by Parfums de Marley. Uh, I have the bottle over there. I'm just going to show the image right here. This fragrance right here at different points does remind me of Carlisle. Not to say it's a clone of Carlisle. It's just it's got nuances of it. Um, I don't think it's redundant to own both because I own both. Um, I would say overall longevity that I get on my skin, I do get really good longevity. This last eight plus hours on my skin um, it projects really good for the first hour and a half and I like the entire the entirety of this fragrance from opening to dry down on my skin um, the dry down is very sensual 
it's very sensual that vanilla and sandalwood comes off really creamy on the skin and that amber is also still present at least but on my skin and the dry down i get on this more of a sandalwood and vanilla with the amber still there though but in the opening to me a dry down i get more of the amber and also you do have a musky undertone in here as well i don't pick up on it too much but i think that musk is one of those ingredients where it really does matter on a uh, Skin chemistry really doesn't matter to me when it comes to musk, because musk can come off different on each, on each person. I just think musk adds more depth and complexity to this fragrance, even though it's already simplistic in note breakdown. I would say the best times to wear this fragrance to me would more so be in the fall and winter time. Um, if you wear this in the spring and summer, you can. I would just maybe default to the nighttime uh, scenario. I wouldn't wear this in the warmer, hot weather in the daytime. I think it'll be too cloying and too sweet. Um, I would say when it comes to the fall and winter, I think that, or just in, in general, I think this is really good for date nights. This did make my top 10 date night fragrance video, guys. I'm gonna leave an end card at the end if you haven't seen that so you can, you know, see the other fragrances I recommended since Valentine's Day is getting close. Uh, this is really good for date nights. I think you can wear this casually. Um, on a night out or clubbing scenario, I think you could rock it. Um, this wouldn't be one of my first choices, I, but I think you can wear it. Um, off of the work type environment, I think it'd be okay. I think that you can wear this across all the different types of occasions. Uh, special occasion or formal, I've got other fragrances that I'd rather wear in, in front of this. But to me, this is like prime time, date night, or it's like a casual wear in a cooler weather. But it's a very solid fragrance, especially if you like amber based fragrances. If you like sandalwood, up your alley. If you like vanilla, up your alley. If you like any combination of those, you really might want to check this out. I do think that this is quality for the price. The price tag, I think is $305 for a 90 ml bottle. I'm gonna leave a link in the description where you can find it. I think the quality is there. To my nose, it is quality. Um, it's a higher upper echelon amber based fragrance. Alberto Maria's did a really good job. It smells really well blended. And this is, I think that's what's expected to be now from Initio. Initio is a really nice brand when it comes to putting out quality blends. And all in all, at the end of the day, what's all said and done, I do think that this is a fragrance that you guys should check out. Um, maybe get a sample of it first. I did blind buy this. Don't do what I did and blind buy it. Because some, some, this might not be for some people. It really might not. I would encourage you to get a sample of it first. So, all in all, I do like this fragrance. I'm really going to have it in my collection. That is Initios Blessed Baraka. This week's Spotlight Fragrance of the Week. So that's all I got for you guys today, man. Let me know in the comment section below, have you guys smelled or our own initial list Baraka? If you do, what do you think of it? Or also, was this, is this on your fragrance list to get uh, when we get a sample of it? Let me know in the comment section below what you guys think about initials Blessed Baraka. And just probably Initio as a whole, because I got re I got Rehab and I got Side Effect over there. I might do reviews of those in the future too. So, that's all I got for you guys today, man. Like I said, please subscribe if you haven't. Uh, hit that post notification bell let you know when I upload a new video. That's all I got for you guys today, man. Till next time.